So, Artie, you're a member of the CTAM Research Committee. Can you tell me uh, when you joined and some of the work you've done for that committee? Boy, uh, when I joined, a number of years ago, that's all I can say. I can't remember <laughs> exactly. Um, and uh, it's, it's sort of been, I look at the CTAM Research Committee as a way of getting together with really smart people and, and sharing um, uh, work that we've done, but also sort of guiding the research initiatives of, of CTAM, which have been, you know, really terrific over the years. Um, uh, but I think it's mostly the networking and what we learn from, from getting together periodically with really smart people. And out of that uh, grew my involvement with the, uh, in co-chairing um, uh, one of the CTAM uh, research conferences, uh, I guess it's about four years ago now, which took place in, uh, in Arizona, which was great. And, um, and it's always been a fabulous conference um, and a conference that sort of uniquely gets at issues that, that other conferences don't. And so, you know, we continue to be avid supporters of CTAM, particularly on the research side, because it just, it, it, the, the type of work that CTAM research does um, is very different than other organizations and, and much more specific, you know, to our needs. After all, at the end of the day, we are still, um, our roots are still in cable television. Uh, we still need to understand what the needs of our operators are, how we can work together sort of to grow our business on a mutual basis. We have issues like set-top box measurement that need to be addressed. Uh, we now have the issues of addressability, for example, which, which need to be understood. And so there's much more focus um, by this particular you know, research committee on those issues, which makes it very, very important to us.